Hello friends, welcome back. In the last session, we have seen how to solve this interesting problem using similar triangles. This session will briefly look into how to solve this using right triangles. So the problem is, we have been given a trapezium with the values of bases, that's nothing but the parallel sides as 50 and 75. We also know the diagonals AC 35 and BD 120. We have to find out what is the area of ABCD. So what we will do to find out the area is we'll just try to drop the right angles so that we can leverage the Pythagoras theorem. So where we have to drop the perpendiculars. So let's think about that. Now we have 75. We also have BD we know. We know AB. You know the altitude of D in ABD triangle will be outside the triangle because it's an obtuse triangle. So let me just try to draw that perpendicular. It will be something like this. Let me just try to, okay, I'm just choosing on which color to use. Let me use yellow. This is 90 degrees and this is the height we have. You can observe that triangle we have considered now is triangle ABD. Similarly, that is with the base as 75 and altitude as H. If you have two triangles between the same parallel lines, their altitude will be the same. So you can see that now the triangle ACD, in that also we can draw the perpendicular so that we can leverage the diagonal. So the diagonal is AC is 35. So I'll consider the altitude of A onto DC that is also equal to H. So let us say this point is equal to X. We'll say this point is equal to X and this is Y. Okay. Now we want to leverage the diagonals AC and BD and we want to apply Pythagoras theorem on them. So if you separate them, how it looks like, let me try to draw this here. We have one triangle like this. That's one triangle. And we have another triangle like that. So this triangle, this is height and we know this part is 75 we don't know what is this so let us take this is equal to a so can i say this is equal to 75 plus a and we know bd bd equal to 120 if you go to triangle let me just name this triangle this is triangle d We have D here and this is Y, D, Y, B and the other triangle we have is D, C and A. Now here if we observe the altitude In the triangle, if you observe, we have the altitude from A is touching DC. The total length is 50, but you know this part is A. We are interested in only in the triangle AXC. We are interested in AXC. So AC we know is equal to 35. 
and the xc if you observe is nothing but equal to 50 minus k 50 minus k so these are the so we have two equations to solve and we have two variables to find out so if you apply right triangle on triangle b d y you will have 120 square minus h square equal to 75 plus a whole square or can I say 120 square minus 75 plus a whole square equal to h square if you compare now in this triangle we have altitude is h remaining sides we know that's diagonal is 35 so can I say 35 square minus h square equal to 50 minus a whole square or can I write it as 35 square minus 50 minus a whole square equal to h square now you can equate h square from both of them so by that you will get a new equation that is 120 square 120 square one twenty square minus of seventy five plus a whole square equal to thirty five square minus fifty minus a whole square. You can simplify this, we will do it in next step. So if you simplify that you will have one twenty square minus seventy five square minus a square minus 150a we are just applying the formula a plus b whole square equal to 35 square minus 50 square minus a square plus 100a if you simplify that you will have a square a square cancelling it out and you will have 250a equal to 100 plus 150 is 250 you will have 120 square minus 75 square and this is 35 square minus 50 square when it goes to other side will become 50 square minus 35 square so you will have 250a equal to let me just write it down here we will have 250a equal to 120 square minus 75 square plus 50 square minus 35 square that's equal to 250a equal to I can simplify that this is in the form of a square minus b square I can write it as a minus b into a plus b so I can say 195 into 45 plus 85 into 15 if you simplify that you will get a equal to 195 into 45 85 into 15 so I can take 15 here I will have 3 15 into 670 250 so I will have 40.2 to be precise so what we have done is I have taken 15 into 3 45 as then I'll have 585 left out 585 plus 85 is 670 that is 15 into 70 670 divided by 250 that is 15 into 2.68 40.2 now if you substitute a value you will get h square equal to 35 square minus 50 minus a whole square 50 minus 40.2 whole square that will give you h square equal to 33.6 whole square you can check h equal to 33.6 
So once we got h equal to 33.6, we can directly go here and substitute that as half into 125 into 33.6 that will give you area equal to 2100 square units like we have got earlier. Now only the important thing we have to understand in this solution is how we have drawn the right angles. We have drawn the right angles, we have drawn the altitudes in such a way that we can leverage the diagonals. If you look at the triangle ABD the altitude of D on AB will be outside. So that is how I want to use the diagonal BD and I also want to leverage the side given 75. But I don't know this additional part that will be I will take it as A. So it gives me 126, 120 square minus of 75 plus A whole square equal to H square. Similarly, if you consider the triangle ADC, if you draw altitude from A on DC, it will be cutting at X and you consider the triangle AXC, I'll write it down here, we are doing here triangle BDY and here we are considering the triangle AXC. If you consider AXC, 35 square minus of 50 minus A whole square equal to H square. Equating both of them, you can get A equal to 40.2 and h equal to 33.6. Two equations, two variables, you solve for h, substitute, you will get the value of the area of the triangle. So this is how we can solve it using right. So I'll catch you again in the next session. Thanks for your time. Bye for now.